let's look at the next video and this video tells us about the corpus luteum what is left behind post ovulation a confirmation of ovulation and if you look at it after ovulation what remains behind is called the corpus luteum what's its role is to produce progesterone and if you look at the vascularization ultrasound scan the corpus luteum often appears as a large area of very vascular flow because of the intense amount of new blood vessels that are formed, the formation of blood vessels. And this occurs in the earlier luteal phase. The process is driven, driven by VG, VEGF, which is a vascular endothelial growth factor, which is essential for rapid growth of follicles as into the previous avascular granules or cells. As a result, the corpus luteum becomes one of the most vascularized areas in the body post ovulation. The high vascular flow that we see on the scan is directly related to the, to the function of the corpus luteum. And, and what is the function? The function is to produce progesterone and estrogen which are necessary for preparing the endometrium for potential pregnancy. The blood supply delivers cholesterol which is needed for the synthesis of progesterone. Studies have shown that the peak of progesterone activity occurs seven days after ovulation. There's a strong correlation between the degree of blood flow, and you see a lot of blood flow, and the level of progesterone that occurs uh, seven days after ovulation. And however, while uh, good vascularity is a good indicator that ovulation has occurred, it is not the only factor. Progesterone again is regulated by the LH hormone, which goes in pulses and so as much as you see a follicular and the corpus luteal blood flow it is equally important that you correlate it and see it along with a progesterone so this video again tells you a lot more about how the corpus luteum is vascular and also giving you a sign of ovulation